for all you that are wanting to build an R2, one of the first exciting things that you could ever get is the dome. And mine came on Monday and this is the first chance I've got to actually crack it open and look at it. I've opened the box already and I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's a little package here, it tells you it's a 300 millimeter hydrodome and it says it's unfinished laser cut parts with sharp edges and this is very true. You'll see this is the ring right here which you uh, attach to your Lazy Susan. Then you've got your base ring right here and you can look at this you can see where all the laser cuts were it's even tack welded on certain spots if you flip it over to the side right over here they did a really nice job doing that you can see all of them several tack welds all throughout here the dome is very nicely packed first you see your inner dome right there actually your outer dome had some styrofoam right there, a couple of pieces right here. Get all these out of here. The dome's going to have to be washed, and that's one of the things that's already expected when you get it. Sits on top of the inner dome, which is right there. And if we lay this down here, when it says it needs to be deburred, if you can look closely here, we'll see if we can get a shot of this right there along that edge from the laser cutting you can see all of the deburring that needs to be done and it's going to take some time but that's all just one of the things that's part of this hobby and building your droid and that's one of the things we're going to show you is how to remove these pie panels and how to deburr this and sand it down so you can start working on your dome and putting electronics in it and whatever else you feel like you want to do to it. So let's look at this dome right here. Really nice. You've got this ring here which will wind up getting painted and you see it's got it's attached right there so we'll see if that can be removed or if you just it's better leaving that on. And basically what you get. It's one of the uh, best pieces to have once you build your dome and I could say this the edges are sharp so it's always good to remove all the burrs maybe use some safety gloves while you're doing it that way you don't cut your hands